welcome back to the channel. If this is the first time you've been here before, my name is Jordan Miller and I review boxing gear. For today's review, I'm going to review my custom 1v1 PTE, that stands for Pro Trainer Elite, boxing gloves that I designed um, with Jason, uh, who is the owner and creator of these gloves, 1v1, and Jonathan at Box Up Nation. Um, I'll, have a, I'll have each of their websites down below. Um, Box Up Nation is a, a boxing store out of Texas that I get a lot of my gear from because he offers, he carries just some of the highest quality boxing gear, um, has great customer service, stuff ships out same day all the time, um, and just really, really great to work with. So yeah, I'm gonna do a full review of these um, for you today. All right, so one thing I'll address, if I've, I've reviewed, I've done a walk around or an unboxing of these gloves before. Um, so I'll put that video up above if you wanna check that out. Um, see my first impressions when I first got these gloves. Um, what you'll see in that video is the logo on the back of the gloves was a little bit different. It was just the 1v1 um, and turned in a different direction. That was the first time Jason had used those labels and that design on those gloves. And actually the, the vinyl started to peel from it. So I sent them back to him and he replaced it with this label, which was a new, which he decided to use because uh, the other one was peeling. Um, and this one haven't had any issues. So that is why that is why it looks a little bit different. There was no cost for any of that, um, which is one of the things why I like I like one v one gloves is um, I feel like Jason takes a lot of pride in his products that he makes, and you know he wasn't satisfied with something that wasn't perfect. So you know we sent him back, he fixed it, sent him my way, no cost, and got all that sorted out. So you know I really appreciated that, um, but. You know, when you're buying a premium product like this, that's that's kind of what I would expect as well. So, you know, I was really glad that that happened. All right, so let's do a quick walk around the glove, you know, kind of go over the leather, the stitching, liner, stuff like that, and show you the build quality of these gloves. All right, so walk around the glove. So first thing is the leather. Um, we have metallic, this like dark navy metallic leather here. Um, and the white, even this white kind of has a, the slightest like metallic feel. You can see like the little bit of, or metallic look, a little bit of glittery uh, look there. Um, quality of leather with 1v1 gloves um, is up, in my opinion, is up there with the, the best. Fly um, has exceptional leather winning it's a it's a winning is a much different feel it's thinner um but this this is thick kind of like fly but flies goat skin so a different grain to it but this is extremely high quality leather and what i really like is you know when you get metallic gloves they tend to flake and i haven't had any flaking in these so that's really nice and i think just speaks to the high quality of leather um, that jason uses so leather all around, so non-metallic, this light blue and red, um, <clears throat> light blue and red and the red piping. Leather has just been held up extremely well, very soft, um, but really thick, um, high quality leather. So leather has done an exceptional job and I don't, th I think there are other companies that also use really high quality leather um, but none that really use significantly better leather. So quality of leather, I think is top tier, um, which is what partly what you pay for. So that that's good. Um, stitching. So I think the stitching is good. Um, cross the back of the palm. That's, you know, this double kind of, kind of similar to a winning glove here on the thumb. Um, the stitching is good. You know, it could be cleaned up a little bit here and a little bit across there. Um, but you know, getting kind of nitpicky. On the palm side, I think the stitching is gorgeous. This white thread on this light blue is beautiful. Very nice along the, the seam of the thumb. And he did a really good job here along the fingertip. So maybe a little bit of cleaned up in this area, but other than that, stitching looks great. The inside of the glove, oh, and you'll, you'll see some like red on the laces here. That's just from rubbing on this red piping. Um, you know, so I don't really care, but that's what that's from. It's not blood. 
um, the liner. So I think uh, something, a really nice touch to these gloves makes them extremely comfortable. This silk, silky, thick uh, liner is extremely comfortable um, and lines all the way the back of the glove into the into the fingertip compartment area um, along the back of the hand and along the back of the thumb so uh, extremely high quality leather uh, sorry liner here uh, for the glove just adding to their overall comfort and kind of luxurious feel and then you have the tag on the inside made in the usa 16 ounce 1v1 fight gear with the warning here um, you know that these gloves are used for punching stuff, so don't get hurt. Um, but yeah, and then the, as I mentioned before, you know, a little bit different label here, but this is held up well, zero issues, um, and I think is nice. Uh, looks really clean, so I like that. All right, so now that we've done the walk around, um, which is important, but for me, the most important thing is fit and feel. So again, these are 16 ounce, meant to be kind of all around training gloves. Um, and they are advertised as a very compact fitting glove. And they are, as advertised, a very compact fitting glove, which I love. That is my preference. I, you know, my gripe with some other gloves and maybe a reason why I go from 16 to 14 and some brands 12 is because I hate when my hand just feels like it's rattling around inside the hand compartment. Um, because as my hand moves, uh, it just doesn't—it just doesn't feel safe. Like it's going to get a weird angle, and I'm going to mess up one of my hand, one of my bones. So, these, as advertised, very compact. Um, so compartment by compartment, fingertip area, excellent. So, Jason does this soft neoprene across the fingertip area, which one is comfortable, and two kind of allows you to really like dig your fingertips into and, and get a good grip there. Um, so that, that's really nice. It's the fingertip area, plenty wide. My fingers aren't scrunched up or anything. They're just side by side there. Um, and I can, I can get my fingers in and, and turn over and make a nice fist. So that's no problem. Um, it'd be nice if it was just a tiniest bit deeper so I could turn my fist over a little more. I don't know that that would make a big difference because I'll get into the knuckle area here next, but maybe just the tiniest bit deeper would, would be nice. Um, knuckle area. I, so as you can see, uh, so and, and a lot of boxing gloves do this, this is kind of similar to winning, where from this piece of the knuckle area, which are these knuckles to these knuckles, instead of being flat, um, have a bit of a, some, some roundness to them. So you're, you're hitting in this area. Um, my winning gloves are like that. These gloves are obviously like that. Um, that is not my favorite shape and feel. That is hundred percent just a preference. Um, and, uh, you know, it's not a, the gloves weren't advertised to be flat like that. Like I knew what I was getting, um, but that's just something uh, that I point out. So if, if that's something you care about as well and you like a, a flatter surface or you like the round, more rounded surface, kind of like a winning glove, these are more rounded, kind of like a winning one. The padding. So Jason uses a multi-layer uh, padding system um, that is extremely protective. I will say when it comes to just knuckle protection and the padding over the knuckles, these 1v1 PTE gloves are the most protective gloves I own. Um, there are other gloves that I think do the ergonomics a little bit better and protect your hand that way by supporting like all the bones in your hand well. Um, but when it comes to padding over the knuckles, there are none, I don't have another pair of gloves that protects them as well as these. I don't need any knuckle guards, I don't need any fast wraps, nothing like that, just a regular pair of wraps, put my hand in here, and I'm good to go. Um, so that is really nice. And that is one of the things that 
these that these gloves are described as um, as being extremely protective and they deliver in that regard super protective a lot of padding along the back there is one layer that is not on the back side that is over the knuckles so it's a little softer along the back side a little more pillowy but still extremely extremely protective um, wrist area thick layer of foam here at least an inch thick um, and you get the two seams here so when i'm wrapping with my lace and loops around i usually go uh, around each seam once and i'm able to get a nice secure uh, wrist protection and get that locked in it is a shorter cuff um, which i also like so you know i feel like a, a cletto almost comes down like almost to my elbow so it's a it's a shorter a shorter cuff but very thick very protective um, but but yeah it is a little shorter um, but it's designed and marketed as a, as a more compact glove, so that's what you get. But very padded, very well protected. A nice, probably three quarter inch flat padding along the palm side as well that you get. Um, so really good wrist protection. Thumb, uh, very, so a, kind of a winning shaped thumb as well. Um, seam is in a nice spot. No issues there, no uncomfortable pinching. The, the liner that I, did in, I showed in the walk around goes along the back of the thumb. No issue there as well. Um, I still have some room up here uh, for my thumb so it doesn't jam. Um, but yeah, kind of, a, kind of a winning thumb, kind of rounded to the side there. Uh, so yeah, fit, feel, very protective, um, very comfortable. And as you can see, this, this punching surface just a little bit rounded there. Um, but yeah, super protective. Really nice, really nice over the knuckles. Most protected over the knuckle pair of gloves that I have. So you can open it up easy. You know, I've had these for a while, but the leather's, leather's nice and soft on the palm. So you can parry shots pretty easily. Um, but yeah, super comfortable compact shorter cuff very protective glove so fit and feel feels great all right so summary of the gloves um they are what they say they are they are a good they are a great all-around training glove so you can use these on the bags you can use these on the mitts you can spar with these um, they are compact as they say even in 16 ounce and they are extremely protective. Again, over the knuckles, most padding over the knuckles, most protective pair of gloves I have. So very, they are what they say they are. They use the highest quality leather um, up there with any other brand. I don't think anybody does leather significantly better than uh, 1v1. So um, you, you get, it is what they say it is, which is nice. Um, price point. So I did these custom. At the time, you could do a custom pair of gloves for $450. And I think I got them on sale, like they were, they were doing a temporary sale, like 10% off. So I paid just a little over $400 for these. Um, I am happy at that price point for these pair of gloves. If you, that was a couple years ago. If you want to do customs now, they're more expensive. They're like, that's like $600. But Jason does make a variety of PTE gloves in stock colors for 450. So all black, all um, blue, all red, and I think recently all metallic silver and all metallic gold. So plenty of options there at 450. Same padding, same everything else we talked about. You just aren't customizing the colors that you choose. So. Um, if you're looking for an all-around glove can do all the things this glove can do it if you really like supporting american businesses american-made stuff veteran-owned companies that is 1v1 so that's what you're supporting and that's what you're kind of representing with that gear as well if you really appreciate that high quality materials being used you're getting high quality materials being used so um, that's who this is for um, and, uh, and I think the price point matches that what you get. So overall, these have held up well. I'm very happy with them. Glad I have them. Super protective, compact glove, 
just like they are advertised with really high quality products. So I'm super pleased with them and glad I have them. Um, but yeah, that's my review. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, please put them down below. Um, I do my best to respond to, respond to all the comments. Um, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, just hit the don't like button twice. Um, and then hit the notification bell so that you can uh, be notified of my upcoming videos. Um, I'm gonna have a number of them coming out, completing all the full reviews of the gloves I own and then start comparing them to each other, trying to develop some lists of, you know, my favorite gloves for different activities and things. So you don't wanna miss those. So be sure to hit the notification bell. Please, if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm approaching the thousand subscriber mark. That's a big milestone um, and would appreciate your help getting there. Um, and you can follow me on Instagram as well, Jordan Miller on YouTube. I interact with subscribers there as well. I'll do my best to answer questions if people have product questions and stuff. So appreciate you checking out this video and I'll see you guys next time.